Okay, hey guys, this is Rev Retrospect Games. Today we're going to be taking a look at Gone Home, the console edition. This is on the PlayStation 4 platform. It is going to be on the Xbox One platform. I do not know if it's been released yet for that particular platform, but it is available on the PlayStation Store right now. So this is the version I went with. You can also get this game on PC and probably mobile devices? This seems like a game that might be on mobile. I have no idea. I know it's on PC. I have it on PC. But we're going to be taking a look at this game and... Gone Home is a relatively controversial game, and not for its content. I'd say it's controversial because of the praise it got, because when it released a few years back, it was met with universal praise by game critics, and quite a few people in the gaming community. Now, since then, its opinions on the game have kind of wavered, I guess you would say. Some people think it's just a walking simulator, other people kind of felt a little deceived and thought it maybe would have been a horror-themed game, and there's not really much of a horror edge to this game. I know when I initially bought it, I thought it was going to be horror-based. I saw sort of a creepy, goosebumpish looking haunted house, and a one light in, you know, the window up there lit, and I thought, hey, maybe this is like a haunted house game or something. I've certainly played them before, Pine View Drive and stuff like that, and that's what I assumed. And it's not, and we'll see what it's about. I personally like this game. I'm a sucker for this type of game. I really am. I'm a sucker for these narrative experiences where all you do is like walk and maybe discover a few things, read some notes. I'm a sucker for that. I always have been, and probably always will be unless something terrific happens. But, yeah, we're going to go take a look at this game. I doubt there's going to be any significant visual upgrades or anything like that, especially since this game came out a few years ago on the PC. I'm sure the PC version probably looks better. Or you can do something to make it look better. I, it wasn't really a visually demanding game in the first place, but, you know, we're going to see how it looks and all that fun stuff. Let's see. Modifiers and commentary. You know, yeah, sure, let's do the modifiers and commentary. Why not? All righty, so good old Hi, gone Mom. home. Hi, uh, So I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Now, there is a developer commentary mode as well as the... Th there is a option to, like, have every door unlocked and some other, like, ridiculous nonsense. What we're going to um, test out, though, since I only tested out briefly, I, just, I walked about 20 feet and saw about 400 commentary bubbles. I'm just going to do that in my own spare time, and I'll upload that whenever. I do remember a lot of the beats from this game, and we're going to test one thing out real quick. Let's read this, though. Now, of course, this is the Radtacular 90s, 95 to be specific. Oh, fun fact, apparently this is some sort of mascot of what, uh, for some reason. Apparently, bigger fans than I of this game uh, call this a mascot. Alright, well, that's kind of odd. But you can see how you would think this game has some sort of horror tinge, couldn't you? But we're going to test out the true, the true... The true test to see if they fixed one of the most glaring problems with this game. Have they fixed it? No, they have not. That is astonishing. Also, what kind of house has like a secret trap door like this? That's nonsense. But open. You can still beat this game at about 20 minutes flat. That's still astonishing. I don't care what anyone says. That's astonishing that that's still there. Also, fun fact, this note right here, written by, I think, one of the lead designers of Deus Ex and uh, Dishonored. I believe that's what the commentary said when I was clicking on it. But yeah, fun fact. Fun fact. And we're, we love fun facts here. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal. Just like I was talking to you. May I 
just say this is a um, very nice house, and I would love to live in a house about this big, even a little smaller. And you know, you kind of explore the house and whatnot. You can technically still beat this game in about a quarter, you know, about under five minutes, you know, depending if you know where to go, which is nice, I guess. Especially if you're pressed for time and you just, for whatever reason, want to beat a video game in record time, then th may I suggest to you, gone home. Ah, yes, I remember when I came across my dad's porno stash. I'm kidding. 0451. Oh, four, five, one. I believe. Double checking. I'm very forgetful when it comes to. I just don't have good church of memory, if I'm being honest. And so you can sort of. You can do better. What if JFK wasn't JFK? I forget the. I forget the exact details of. Let's see. What was it? Oh. Filler. Dear Mr. Mason, please find close your original document and type a copy of your regular notarized copy of the file. Trust firm. That was fun. The X Files Labyrinth. Aw, oh, Dave Bowie's this dead. Is a severe weather warning. The Northwest Weather. Also, y'all are incredibly wasteful with your electricity and your drugs. I don't know if they do drugs. I don't think anyone does drugs in this game. Maybe, maybe for recreational purposes. Making friends when your Sam thought it might help, Dad. You know that feeling where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, Can't and you have chance. to get to know them? Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Wow, oh, okay, cool. there's always family issues in games that involve writers and actually stories that involve writers and I'm having flashbacks to Alan Wake Ah, uh, 
adolescence. Ah, yes, the children are our future. So we must kill them. They're going to take our spots. Anyway. This game is very, like I said before when I started this, it's, it's a very light game. You don't play this game to... How do I put this? Uh, for in-depth gameplay content. Coaster! That was close enough. This is a uh, great game to play, though, if you want to throw around stuff. Unable to publish your follow up, The Accidental Pariah, despite the low sales of The Accidental Savior. We went ahead to the publication of the second book in hopes of the genre of catching on. However, sales of the second book have been lower than those of the first, and so. You can see the dad is having trouble, and of course he's, you know... What is it with writers and alcohol? I would like to see a writer that is addicted to something other than alcohol, and be something other than alcoholic. Perhaps a... to let... vent his frustration, he becomes a professional dancer. I don't know. If nothing else, you can fill the walls with these books and be very insulated, so... Also, maybe cut back on your, uh, living expenses. This is a very large house. This looks like a record collection. Uh, from with... So, yeah, it looks like a record collection. I mean, this is this is a nice house. Perhaps you wouldn't have to worry about this sort of thing and do reviews and whatnot if... Oh, I don't know, you cut back on your lavish lifestyle just a wee bit? Especially considering you only have two children. So you know what they say about the best light plans of mice and men? Sure. Yeah, turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2. At least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Aww. Adorable. Yes, but we can already go into the attic if we want. And, assuming they haven't changed anything, the locker combination is either 050, 05, 051, or 050. One of the two. I'm not 100, I don't remember 100%. Give me some form of leniency. I like how the touchpad's been reduced to not doing really anything in, on the PlayStation 4. That's, that's kind of adorable. It's actually kind of a cool little feature, but no one really uses it other for like other than for maps and pauses. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Bye, Zs. Yes. Those are all the messages. You know, when they, uh, when the parents actually come back to this house, they're going to uh, probably not be a fan of the fact that we've thrown everything around. 
cooking class. You have a cooking class at school? Ballroom dancing, cooking class, ballroom dancing. Cook the big meal for, oh wait, no, no, it's not actually. I shall turn on all of the lights. This house will be illuminated. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was yeah, around so ever weird. since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand Psycho House tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know, I finally found someone I feel normal around. I drove her home and she gave me this tape and said, you have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. If you haven't guessed what the story's about, it, yeah, I can't help you, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, if everyone else, yeah, no, it's, yeah. Did we just, what the? Mittens! All these names are cat like mittens. I named my cat Blue. He's white and orange. Not really a fitting name. Also, did like a Super Nintendo go in every room and she just took all of them but like three Super NES cart cartridges for some reason? Yes, no, whatever. So as you can imagine, there's some turmoil with her, you know, kind of coming out party and all that fun stuff. It's not really a party though. It's more like a, you know, I'm trying to think of a way to phrase this, but there's just not, I lack the elegant, the elegance to do so. But yeah, no, this is about, yeah, a couple, like, coming, wait, what is this? After honeymoon. Rediscover your spouse personally, spiritually, and sexually. Well, everyone seems to have problems. But you know what would fix this? A jacuzzi. This house needs an indoor jacuzzi. Get rid of the alcohol lounge, the little bar area, and let's get some sort of freaking yeah. Mom and Dad are going to make out the guest room. Da -da -da. I always like these notebooks. Ever since I saw that movie Harriet the Spy when I was really, really little. Never could fill out one neatly. Hey Sam, you were asking what my JRTC grievance. I was in JRTC. Oh yeah, that's right. I was in MC JRTC. I was in the Marine version. Simper Fire, Do or Die, Simper Fidelis, and all that fun stuff. Two Fun Dehu, Devil Dogs, etc., etc., etc. I was like Sergeant. What was it? Sergeant First Class, Sergeant Second Class. They never made me a Lieutenant. I was always kind of sour about that. Oh well. What can you do? Well, that was a cassette tape for a second. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. 
and everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. Oh, really? What gave it away? That been as about as subtle as a salad fork to the eye. And it's Betsy. Oh, there's the case for that. Lonnie, he'll grab his library. Oh. Looks like a very uncomfortable position to me. Captain Allegra and first mate. Your costume, my costume. I like this. I like this game. It's 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 charming, for like a better term, I suppose. Although I can see why other people wouldn't like it. Dark room. Now, last time I played a game with dark rooms, someone got killed. Well, several people got killed. One got drugged and then used time bending powers to get out of it. But I digress. I digress. Let's go to her room now. And you know, she took her Super Nintendo, but she left three games which will forever perplex me. Because, how, how could you not take these three? Like, would they not fit? I mean, I know you like left suddenly, but you know, whatever. What do I know? Don't mind me, I'm just sitting here. Nice freaking house. Wish I, I never had a room this big. I don't even think I ever. We I only ever lived in a house with a second floor once in my life. Let's see though if they have changed that. No, they have not. We shall head to the library momentarily. With an unacceptable image on the front, a large beer can with a level. Just fake it. That's what I used to do. I ever, then again, I really ever got those notes. But when I did, I would fake my parents' signature. Turn lights on everywhere. Lights! Lights for days! I do believe we have been there. So let's go find the secret passage in the library, even though we can go grab the key for the attic. Like, right now. And in the game. We could end it. We could end it all. Anyway. Library. Library. We are in the foyer. Man. I really wish I had a house this big. I'm gonna hammer that point home. I really, really like this house. It's a little bit barren. Except for the books. It's a lot of books. I like books, but it's a lot of books.
Ah, there it is. At Tot's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over, I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me, and was so close, and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just nodded my head, and I really hope she could tell. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Okay. Ghost Hunters Sam and Lonnie Secret House Investigation Cog Log. That makes more sense. Hidden components found three. Library upstairs hall foyer. Evidence of the supernatural. Library foyer. My room. We shall go to those. We shall endeavor to go to those areas momentarily. Of course. I wonder if the parents know about the hidden doors and whatnot. Wish I had freaking hidden doors in my house. Wish I had a house. I don't have a house. I have a building. It's like a house, it's, but not. It's a nice building, though. It was expensive. It was like 15 grand. With 15 grand after everything, but that's beside the point. Okay, so, if I'm reading the map correctly, as soon as we go out. Nope. Ah, over here, and that makes, I guess, a little bit more sense. There we go. Ouija board. You know, that would be really helpful had I not already opened the locker, but, you know, good endeavor. Go grab the last little hidden thingamajig which should be if it's in here immediately in the hallway I assume yeah boom heaven at the edge of the world private do not read trying to remember everything that kind of uh, activates a story thingamajig. Also, we walk very slow. I have a feeling uh, the sister is a little bit fat. You know, for a non-horror game, though, it has some pretty good atmosphere. Pretty good horror-esque atmosphere. I mean, she probably stole this from her dad's thingamajig, and that's Oh, smoking will kill you. Being a lesbian won't, but smoking will. And this is Lonnie. Lonnie came over today. But everything was... different. She was sitting at my desk chair. The red dies for. She wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like I must think... But I said no... There was nothing wrong. 
I just wanted to say, but I couldn't find the words. I will. I felt be. like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie, do you think you could ever? No. Nah. And that's nah. when she kissed me. <laughs> You know, it's kind of odd to think that, uh, you know, her sister is reading all these notes and finding out what exactly happened to her sister, and she's imagining it in this sort of tone and voice. It'd be kind of odd if she was, like, imagining her sister kind of like Daria or something, and then just the most monotone voice ever during all this. And then she kissed me. <laughs> like Tina Belcher. Ah, uh, potato chips. Very minor. There's so many freaking rooms in this house. They're in love. Oh, wait. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could oh, say no, we're Oh, no, please dating, do go on. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. Secreting? I mean, I guess that's the real difference. Too close now to when screening. we get off the phone or go home for the night. Or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. so touching it almost warms my heart I would much rather it warm my body because it's very cold outside but it you know almost warms the heart K is for kind Caitlin So now they're secret dating. I mean, of course, we can go in this anytime we want. But, you know, I still like it. I'm still having fun. And I'm waiting for uh, that dragon cancer to install. God, that's such an unfortunate name. Oh! I'm so stupid sometimes. I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? Hey, yeah, I went to ROTC I and guess she's Marines. been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. But yes, I, I did an ROTC thing and I didn't go to the Marines. Lord knows, no. Oh, no, no. No. But before that, I was going to say, ah, yes, I remember when I was going to have an almost free ride to college. Oh, those were the days. Oh, oh and then, you know, I got I got set on fire and missed, like, four months of my senior year. But that's besides the point. The point is, my high school sucked. Oh, such a messy, messy, messy house. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. 
Indeed. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, you didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Hmm. What was that code? Oh, wait, yes. 1963? There we go. And I cannot read that chicken scratch. I... Oh, cursive. But yes, that is the safe. Oh, it's Splendor. You can just pause the video, I suppose, if you want to see what it said there. It's kind of dark. Oh, well. We have opened something. I'm going to look at it one more time, see if I can't. Yeah, I can't read all of it. By let's see, I I unite what shall be my last appeal to go unanswered one way or the other. I feel a prisoner as on an island with no jailer, no humor, no human soul for commune. Only my one mind examining itself endlessly, endlessly, endlessly searching for relief in the years since transgression I have sought no absolution only gave forgiveness forgiveness in good faith I have removed myself from all temptation sacrifice to prove my commitment however I can imagine event as since mother's passing I have yearned for nothing more than the acknowledgement of my own kin to be treated as human again to breathe the air of human spirit once more by grace even a wretch like me could be saved but i do not expect it if no response is received i shall henceforth accept my sentence and one day simply cease to be with a brother's love always oscar mason okay fun 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 i actually did read it what does this said say girl scout So many hidden, like, rooms and whatnot. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit, and he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now, and I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing it feels so proud Horny. when she's on stage no wait no okay. it's incredible being in awe of someone you love so everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in june but till then i'm gonna be at every single show
Let's see. Is there any more keys that I need to obtain? I don't think so. I'm trying to find find all the story bits. I don't exactly remember all of them. sometimes. Like her band, and our zine, and her hair, and everything are all anti-authority. But I watch her in JROTC, and she's doing drills in perfect formation. Following orders, no question. And there's all this stuff in the news about don't ask, don't tell. Like, she's going to join the army and then have to lie? About who she is? She said... They don't need to know what they don't need to know. Like it was no big deal. This from the girl who trashed her locker to like, defend my honor. I've learned when to stop arguing though. I don't think Lonnie even gets Lonnie sometimes. Yeah. Good old JORTC. Fun for the whole family. Oh yeah, this is for her mom. Fun, 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 fun. I should I feel as though I should have turned the brightness up or brought a flashlight. Come on, this is a first person game. We're supposed to have flashlights and be out running some sort of creature of the night. Preferably Batman. But seriously, it is it is extremely, extremely dark. Darker than the blackest void. Darker than Popo's soul. Oh, there's a light. Awesome. Why was the kitchen locked? Or the way to the kitchen? It's a kitchen. I'm just going to turn on every light. I'm just going to turn on every light and leave and be like, oh, one and one me. <laughs> Must have been a burglar. She made this like twice. It's impressive. Distributing inappropriate materials in school grounds. Oh my God, the students. an interesting talk with mom and dad tonight one you were never gonna need to have I mean you've known right I've known I've known since like She-Ra what of your terrible meth addiction I guess. oh you're talking about the lesbian thing now but they saw the zine and the stuff on the locker and they were like is there something we should know about you and Lonnie and so here's the thing I was prepared for them to be mad, or disappointed, or start crying, or something, but they were just in denial. You're too young to know what you want. You and Lonnie are just good friends. You just haven't met the right boy. It's a phase. That's what I didn't see coming. That they wouldn't even respect me enough to believe me. Well, joke's on them because they're in for one very long phase.
Oh, poor, 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 poor. Yeah, I know. I grew up in the South. Uh, yeah, no. People are actually kind of like that down here. The good old South! Oh, not everyone's like that. South's actually a very, very lovely place. Lots of open places to go and whatnot. Daniel finally came over to get his game. I'd been dreading it. But he brought this story with him that I wrote when we were little. I started reading it. And then there I was, crying at the kitchen table. He asked what was wrong, and I was thinking about how we used to be friends, how much I take him for granted. But instead, I told him about school, and Dad, and Lonnie. And then how sorry I was that I wasn't his friend anymore. He gave me a hug and said it was going to be okay. For some reason, I almost believed him. I mean, it could be worse. You could get shot. Huh? Gotta look at the bright side. So why was the kitchen locked? This is this is the sacrifice you have to make for making your daughter feel so crap. All of your stuff in the refrigerator will ruin. All of it. You know what? Especially see this ice cream. S screw you. Freaking ice cream. You know what? No, 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 no. Ice cream goes in the unsold manuscript box, or next to it. You know what? Shut up. Let's try it. There we go. Unsold manuscript box. Now ruined. Ice cream. Or unsold books. I guess manuscripts are not the correct terms. So it's in a book. You know what? I'm I'm divert. You know what? Screw it. Whatever. Whatever. Lonnie had her going away show with her band tonight. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. Uh -huh. That we only had 48 hours left. Uh -huh. That I don't know what comes next. Uh -huh. And I can't live without her. Greenhouse. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. We agreed our last night together would be our happiest ever. And we'd forget tomorrow was going to come at all. It worked for a while. We had a good time seeing Oscar off. Then ran up to the attic to look through our photos. To find one for Lonnie to take with her. And looking at them, I realized they were all in the past. And there wouldn't be any more. I didn't know what I was going to do. And I cried. And she held me. She said she knew it was hard, but life would move on. I said I didn't want my life to keep moving without her. That's when she cried too. I was so exhausted. I must have fallen asleep like that, in her arms. In the morning, I woke up, and I was finally alone. So Lonnie I didn't had mean a going to away show with her band tonight. One. She's so incredible on stage. When she was singing, I could practically forget everything. That we only had 48 hours left. That I don't know what comes next. I can't live without her. Then she dedicated the last song to me. I couldn't take it. I was out on the curb in the alley, sobbing till my ribs hurt. I was
would follow her anywhere, Katie. But I can't. Where she's going. After a long time, she found me. She said she was sorry. She said, I wish things could be different. I just wanted to make you happy. I said, I don't think you can anymore. Yeah, we already grabbed the stuff from the locker. That's the only reason I went up there, I kind of forgot. The sunset light in this house is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I just want to sleep. When I'm in the attic, it almost feels like Lonnie could still be here. She's just downstairs. I'm just waiting to hear her pull down the hatch and come running up. Maybe I'll go up to the attic and wait. Two. I mean, come on. But yeah, you can be still beat this game in like five minutes. But still, it's a sweet story, you know? It's sweet and lovely and all that wonderful nonsense. Charming. And there are way too many light sources in this house. The game box art lied to me. It showed a light in a house. Katie, uh, I fell asleep in the attic, in Lonnie and my old spot, and I missed the first two calls. I just barely caught the third one before the machine got it. And it was Lonnie, on a payphone. She'd been on the bus to basic, and she said she couldn't, she couldn't think of anything but me, and us, and that she couldn't go through with it, with the army and being a part, and all of it. And so she got off the bus in Salem. She said, Sam, I want you to pack up everything you can and get in your car and come find me. And let's just drive until we find somewhere for us. And she asked me if I could do that. And I said, yes. Yes. Katie, I'm so sorry. Yeah, don't that worry I about it. I can't be there to see you in person. That I can't tell you all this myself. But I hope as you read this journal and you think back, that you'll understand why I had to do what I did. And that you won't be sad. And you won't hate me. And you'll just know that I am where I need to be. I love you so much, Katie. I'll see you again, someday. Love, Sam. You know, you could at least give your sister somewhat of a contact information. Just a smidge. I know you're in love and all that wonderful nonsense, but you know, you, can't, you say you care about her so much, you're like, ah, you know, no, I'll see you again someday. I don't know when, but someday. But no, that was gone home. It's. You know, it's still what it, you know, it was a few years ago. They haven't really changed anything. I don't know why. It's as expensive as it is for the PlayStation 4, and I'm assuming it's going to be the same price on the Xbox One. But I enjoy this game. You know, it's it's a sweet game. That's, that's an odd compliment. It's sweet and charming, I guess. And some people might gawk at some of the writing cliches and whatnot that it's used throughout the story. And some people might question the fact that we had to go around the house and find this sort of patchwork of a story. But, you know, I think it's, it's a little sweet. You know, it's sweet and charming. And not, there are games like this, but I think this was one of those that kind of, one of the first ones I can remember of this type that people kind of noticed. And I can get why people wouldn't like it. I really do. It's, if you don't like this type of game, you don't like it. If you don't like walking around looking for story bits, you don't like a game like this, and I have good stories. But, you know, I think it's a pretty sweet game. Um... They should have done something with the fact that you can still walk and beat this game in about five minutes, three minutes. It's still a little ridiculous that you can do that. Jump. 
Duff and Blow, the act of the witness. Huh, I don't know why I would figure that. But, um, yeah, you know, sweet game. Uh, they didn't really update really anything for this, so... If you have a PC, you don't even need a high-end one. A mid one, a lap. I probably use the notes for your, you know, classes or whatever. That'd be fine. You do get this game dirt cheap on PC. You don't have to pay $20 for the console version. But, you know, this has gone home and, you know, enjoyable game for the most part. Could it be improved upon? Yeah, it could. Definitely. It's not perfect. And, like, that little instance where... I think I did that the first time I played this game. Where you can, like, overlap the two notes. Like, because they're so close. You're, you know, if you're looking around for stuff picking up, you know, you can easily cut off a bit of dialogue and have to re-listen to it. The little tedious things like that. Um, nothing overtly difficult in terms of puzzles or whatever. It's just pretty much reading. Open door, open door, open door. You don't really need to read too much for anything. It points down on the map if you find something worth a note. You know. But, you know... I have, I enjoy this game. I don't know if fun's the right word to describe it, but I do enjoy this. But uh, yeah, that was Gone Home Console Edition. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to be doing that Dragon Cancer. Same day, it will be no commentary though, because I have not played that game before and I just want to do no commentary. And Thursday, Friday, and Saturday it should be more XCOM parts. I haven't decided either if I want to do Dead Space 2 or Dead Rising 2. And maybe one more, probably Psychonauts, since they just finished the Kickstarter for that. Not Kickstarter, the Fig campaign. Uh, I backed that game for like 300 some $368 or some nonsense like that. I'm Psychonauts is like one of my favorite games of all time. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed, and uh, thank you for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you when I see you. Peace.